LeBron, how did you guys try to respond once it was clear that AD wasn't going to be able to return to the game? Uh, next man up, but uh, that's a tall task, uh, figuratively and literally, uh, for what AD has been doing for us over the last few weeks. Um, you know, so I thought Thomas came in and gave us some great minutes. Um, you know, he was uh, high energy, uh, worked the glass really well. Um, but it was tough for us, you know, once, you know, AD went out, we had to kind of switch up our whole game plan, you know, from what we were going to try to do. And, um, but we gave, you know, as much as we could, had an a couple of opportunities in the fourth, but they broke away with it. Obviously, the way you guys started this trip, you don't want to lose any game, but it allows you to withstand something like tonight and still have a successful trip. But if AD has to miss some time, what's the, the best method to get back in the winning? Well, I mean, column? it's the next man up. I mean, um, you know. Uh, that's, what, that's, what we, that's what the team is for, and obviously you can't replace AD, so everyone has to do a little bit more, um, but do their job at the highest level or the highest capacity they can do it and, and live with the results. He's been doing so much these last nine games, but what, what's the what's – the, when he goes out, what is like the – this is what we need to shore up. Um, everybody – I mean, you did it on the glass, but, but, but is it rebounding? Is it defense at the rim? What, what, like, what do you miss most when he's not? Uh, a little bit of everything. I mean, he's giving us everything, both scoring, uh, defense, uh, obviously, rebounding, blocking shots around the rim, uh, length. You know, obviously, our length goes away. You know, when you have a guy that's, uh, you know, six eleven with a seven, whatever, seven five, seven six wingspan, seven seven wingspan. You know, it's hard to you can't match that. Do you feel like Mitchell was able to, to do a bit more? Do you want to do more? Uh, no, I mean Mitchell is just he's Mitchell. I mean, he did a good, he did a great job of. Uh, Penetrating our gaps, uh, you know, making some tough shots all night and getting to a real good comfort. But, um, you know, he's, he's a special kid. Um, you know, obviously, the fourth quarter got away from you guys. But up until that point, especially when you guys were tied at 92, is, there, is that something that even in the loss, even with the result, that's something you can dig out of, out of this game and maybe speaks to the character? No, no, no. We're not a young ball club. We lost and we move on. And sort of taking aside, um, you know, this this game. What's it like to kind of see a Cleveland team and and in Donovan, a star here who's has them competitive and and has this building full of energy. Uh, well, they were competitive before Donovan got here, but I thought you know them adding him made them even more dynamic. I mean, you if you watched them last year, you saw how competitive they were as well. Um, you know, I think. Uh, when some of their guys got injured towards the end of the season, they slipped a little bit and ended up in the playing game. But um, they were a good team last year. Um, you know, you, you add a, an all-star, NBA all-star, a dynamic wing uh, or a dynamic guard, I'm sorry, like Donovan is going to automatically make your team better. So, Joe, you've been back here a bunch of times and celebrated a bunch of times. Um, video tributes, standing ovation, like... This one, not the standing ovation part, but the video tribute. Did this one catch you off guard all tonight? Uh, all? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Um, but it's always uh, love coming back here. Um, obviously, you know, the memories that I have here uh, would never be forgotten. Um, you know, from the time I was drafted as an 18-year-old kid to the time I left um, and then left. So, um, you know, the reception I got from the fans here, um, it's, it's mutual, that's for sure. And you, may have, you may have talked about it with these guys over the last couple of weeks, but the way that Anthony has been playing lately and then the way that you've kind of been playing off him almost, um, was that your plan or the plan when you, all the way back when you first acquired Anthony? Yep. Why do you think it's happening now, this way? Um, just timing. We have time for two more. The Turkish gentleman and Brian and Brian and LeBron, going off of Joe's question, uh, you've been in this building. This is your building. Have you ever heard it as an opponent like that? Have you ever been around an environment like this as an opponent? Uh, as far as what? As far as the the energy, the as a home as a as a Cavalier, you've experienced that environment. But as an opponent, have you ever experienced it? Oh, on the positive side. Yeah. On the positive side, yeah, yeah. But it, I've been in here on the negative side when the energy was crazy too. Uh, but on the positive side, it was it was it was it was great. Um, but it's, that's that's what I mean. Come on, it's, that's what Cleveland sports is all about. You know, from the Guardians to the Browns to to the uh, to the to the Cavs, 
the the fans they're going to always support and be loud and that's what they do so um, um, nothing else uh, I wouldn't expect anything less of that Y'all yeah, saw that. Congratulations to Glenville. That was amazing. What do you think that could do for other urban schools as far as believing that they can win the state? I mean, it just brings uh, so much awareness. One, um, I think that's uh, amazing when you can get a, a school like Glenville um, that can win a state championship. It, it you know, allows a lot of the inner city kids, for one, to feel like they can go there and win as well and be seen and be heard. Um, so it gives a lot of credit to that. I just. You know, I think it's pretty special. Um, I think it's pretty special. And um, I got a couple of friends of mine that, that actually went to Glenville years and years and years and years ago. Uh, you know, but that's that's from that community and they were extremely excited. And, um, and Coach Ginn is always, you know, he's, he's a friend of ours. And, and, and obviously his son, Teddy Ginn, is a friend of ours. And so um, just seeing the success that they had um, and, and make that run and be able to bring a state championship back to the city, um, to the inner city, is, is um, it, it brings a lot to the not only to the sports side of the inner city, but also just to the community in general.